Hello students, uh, now we are going to see chapter 1 in your uh, plus 1 book. That is chapter 1 is sex, relations and functions. So what is set? A set is a collection of well-defined objects. Okay, a collection of well-defined objects is sets. What does it mean by well-defined? Well-defined means uh, the object must be well-defined. For example, the collection of beautiful flowers in a OT, the collection of uh, red color flowers in a OT. This is uh, red color flowers in OT means that is well defined. Beautiful color means we are not able to define what is beautiful. So that is not a set. So that is a set is a collection of well defined objects. Okay. So now we are uh, see union of two sets. Okay. That is union of two sets A and B is denoted by A union B. Okay, and is defined as A union B equals to X, where X is belongs to A or X is belongs to B. That is A union B means uh, the element either in A or B. Both will be coming A union B. Intersection of two sets is in A and B is turned by A intersection B is defined as A intersection B equals to X, where X belongs to A and X belongs to B. So, intersection means that element should contain both in A and B. So you see the difference between these two uh, the element which is either in A or B that both includes in A and B this that element should be in both the sets that is called intersections okay this is a basic in sets and now we see some of the properties of set operations first commutative commutative means uh, that is properties of set operations based on union and intersection okay two operations okay commutative a union b equals to b union a so both are same that is this order or reverse order both unions should be same similarly intersection also same a intersection b equals to b intersection a associative a union b union c equals to a union b union c that is first we will find a union b and then and then uh, with the uh, respect answer we find union c that should be equals to we find b union c and then find a union so both are equal similarly intersection a intersection b intersection c equals to a intersection b in a, a intersection b intersection c so first we will find a intersection b and then with this particular result we find intersection c so then this should be equals to a b intersection c and then we will find intersection with a so both are equal so we will see this operation elaborately in uh, problems so next property is distributive distributive is a union b intersection c equals to a union b intersection a union c that is b intersection c fine and then we have to find a union with this result which is equal to a union b intersection a union c this is a union b intersection a union c similarly a intersection B union C equals to A intersection B union A intersection C identity A union null set equals to A this is called null set or empty set so A intersection U this is called universal set the whole set A union A equals A intersection U equals to A okay empty set is pi is null set so while union with the set A means definitely A will come and u is universal set all elements in that set okay while intersection with a means obviously a will come item potent means a union a implies a and a intersection a implies a and absorption means a union a intersection b equals to a and a intersection a union b equals to a so these are the basic uh, properties of uh, set this you will learn in your early classes so next is Cartesian products. The Cartesian product of set is nothing but a set of ordered elements. The Cartesian product of A with B is denoted by A cross B. It is defined by A cross B equals to A comma B where A belongs to A and B belongs to B. So Cartesian product is a set of ordered parts that is A comma B that is 1 comma 2, 3 comma 4 that is we have to put in the bracket and two sets there is two elements so set of ordered pairs this is called set of ordered elements okay that is a cross b 
so where a should be in capital a and small b should be in capital b similarly the cartridge product of three elements a cross b cross c is defined as that is three sets so which is equals to a cross b cross c equals to a comma b comma c so where small a belongs to capital a b belongs to the set capital b and the element c belongs to the set capital c so this is a cartesian product of two sets and this is a cartesian product of three sets so now we are going to solve the problems okay so first problem is in a survey of 5000 persons in a town okay so there are 5000 persons in a town it was found as 45 percent of the persons know language a 25 percent know language b 10 person knows language c 5 person knows language a and b 4 person knows language b and c and 4 persons knows languages a and c if 3 percent of the persons know all the three languages find the number of persons who knows only language a so these are the uh, given data okay so solution given that n of a equals to what given uh, language a 45 percent of the persons know language a so 45 percent of 5000 knows language a so that is n of a n of means is total number of a that is called n of a so 45 percent of 5000 so 45 by 100 into 5000 which is equal to 2250 so n of a total number of a is 2250 persons okay out of 5000 persons uh, 2250 persons knows language A and N of B that is number of persons knows language B which is 25 percent knows language B so 25 percent into 5000 so 25 by 100 into 5000 which is 1250 okay so out of 5000 persons 1250 knows languages B and language C 10 percent know language C so 10 percent of 5000 so 10 by 100 into 5000 500 so 500 persons knows language C so then 5 persons 5 percent know languages A and B okay so number of persons in language A and B means both A and B so that's we notice A intersection B so number of A intersection B is 5 percent of 5000 so 5 by 100 into 5000 which is equal to 250 so 4 person know languages B and C so B and C, N of B intersection C, 4 percent of 5000 so equals to 4 by 100 into 5000 which is equal to 200 so 200 persons knows languages B and C similarly 4 person knows languages A and C so number of C and A is 4 percent of 5000 4 by 100 into 5000 equals 200 so number of persons knows all the three languages A intersection, B intersection, C 3% 3% of the persons know all the three languages so 3% of 5000 3 by 100 into 5000 so this is all the uh, given data ok so uh, the number of persons who knows only language so we have to find the number of persons who knows only language we already found that n of a is 2 to 5 0 that is the persons knows languages a so this includes the persons knows b and c everything ok now we are going to find the number of persons only language a okay that is n of a intersection b complement doesn't c complement b complement is the persons doesn't know language b and the person doesn't know language c so obviously they both know language a so we have to find intersection of these three sets so this can be written as by using property n of a intersection this can be written as b union c the whole dash that is b complement in the c complement can be written as b union c the whole complement so again by property n of a minus n of a intersection b union c by formula n of a right as it is this can be written as n of a intersection b union c equals to n of a intersection b minus n of a intersection c plus n of a intersection b union c this value is already we found so 2250 minus 250 minus 200 plus 150 equals to 1950 so thus the required number of persons is 1950 so out of 5000 1950 persons knows 
only language A. So next problem is find the number of subsets of A if A equals to X where X equals to 4 and plus 1 2 less than equals to N less than equals to 5 N belongs to N. So this is the given data we have to find the subsets of A. Okay, this N, this capital N denotes natural numbers. Okay, so N belongs to N means this N should be natural numbers. So the number in between 2 and 5, only natural numbers. Okay, 2 and natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that. These are called natural numbers starting with 1, okay, ending with infinity. So we have to find N. So the N in between 2 and 5, in between 2 and 5 means 3, 4, which, in, which includes 2 and also 5 because both are equal okay so this this gives n equals to 2 3 4 5 so x equals to 4 and plus 1 substitute for n equals 2 means we get 9 4 into 2 8 plus 1 9 substitute n equal to 3 means we get 4 3 so 12 plus 1 13 substitute n equal to 4 means we get 4 16 plus 1 17 substitute n equal to 5 means 4 5 so 20 plus 1 21 so clearly the set a contains four elements so n of a equals to 4 okay now we have to find the number of subsets of a okay the total number of elements in a is 4 the subset of a is the formula is 2 power the number of sets in a that is this implies that this denotes row of a row of a means subset of a that is number of elements in subset of a n of row of a equals to 2 power 4 which is equal to 16 this is the formula that is uh, 2 power how many elements in that particular set that is called subset of a so n of row of a equals to 2 power 4 which is equal to 16 the next problem is if a equals to 1 2 3 4 and b equals to 3 4 5 6 find n of a union b cross a intersection b cross a triangle b triangle means symmetric difference so the formula for a triangle b is a triangle b is a union b minus a intersection b this is the formula uh, to find a, a, a triangle b that is this is called symmetric difference of a and b this is the difference of a and b and a intersection b okay so given that a, a set of a is a collection of four elements and b is a collection of four elements so given that a equals to 1 2 3 4 and b equals to 3 4 5 6 so we have to find number of a and how many Num n means number number of a and b cross a and b cross a triangle b so first we need to find a, what is a and b a and b and a triangle b so these are the given sets so a and b means we have to write a as well as b so 1 2 3 here also 3 is there here also 3 is there so 1 3 a is enough and 4 is here also there here also 4 is there so 1 4 is enough so remaining 5 6 so this is the 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total number of a unit b is 6 so a unit b is 1 2 3 4 5 6 n of a unit b means 6 so it's total 6 elements so a and b means the element which is common to both a and b so common to both means 3 and 4 3 and 4 because 3 and 4 is present in a also as well as b also so a and b is 3 comma 4 so number of elements is 2 so n of a and b equals to 2 so a triangle b means a union b minus a intersection b that is this is a union b and this is a intersection b so we have to uh, eliminate this from this that is a 3 4 is there so omit 3 4 and write the remaining term 1 2 5 6 so 1 2 5 6 that is called a triangle b that is a union b minus a intersection b we have to eliminate this element from this and write the remaining element so number of elements in a triangle b is 4 so n of a triangle b equals to 4 so now we have to go in, uh, we have to find n of a union b cross a intersection b cross a triangle this can be as by property n of a union b cross n of a intersection b cross n of a triangle b so already we found that n of a union b equals to 6 and n of a intersection b equals to 2 and n of a triangle b equals to 4 so 6 into 2 into 4 which is equals to 48 so next problem is if n of rho of a equals to 1024 n of a union b equals to 15 n of rho of b equals to 32 then find n of a intersection b that is the row means number of subsets of a the row includes the subsets of a that is number of subset of a is 1024 and number of a union b equals to 15 
a number of subsets of B is 32. We have to find the number of elements in A intersection B. So given that N of row of A, that is subsets is 1024. 1024 can be written as 2 to the power 10 because this is the formula. So 2 to the power 10 means this 10 implies number of sets in A. So that is the formula for subset. So if N of row of A equal to 1024, this is 2 power 10 means N of A equals to 10. And so N of A equal to 10, N of A will be given 15 and number of subsets of B is 32. Uh, in terms of 2 means 2 power 5. So this 5 implies number of sets in B. So N of B equals to 5. So we know the formula N of A in B equals to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. So by applying this formula, so we we know N of A in B equals to 15 and N of A equals to 10 and N of B equals to 5. So N of A intersection B we are going to find. So uh, bring this to this side and this to this side. So 10 plus 5 15. So 15 come means minus 15. This means plus. So n of a should be equals to 15 minus 15, 0. Okay. So next problem is if n of a induction be equals to 3 and n of a union be equals to 3, then find n of row of a triangle B. That is they give they given that number of elements in a induction be equals to 3 and number of elements in a union be equals to 10. We have to find the number of subsets of a triangle B. Okay, so given that n of a union b equals to 10 and n of a intersection b equals to 3. So we have to find n of a triangle b. So then only we are able to find the number of subsets of a triangle b. So n of a, a triangle b means a triangle b we know that a triangle b equals to a union b minus a intersection b. So n of a triangle b can be written as n of a union b minus a intersection b. So this can be written as n of a union b minus n of a intersection b. So this this values given in the question. So a union b equals to 10 and a intersection b equals to 3. So 10 minus 3, 7. So n of a triangle b equals to 7. So we have to find the number of subsets of a triangle b. So formula means 2 power number of elements in a triangle b. So 2 power 7 which is equals to 128.